Do it right now. Shout out your favorite NFL team. I want to see who's repping in our comment sections because the video coming up, I think every single person's going to like. You're watching NFL Daily. Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports. And coming up on today's show, I have one trade every single NFL team should at least try to make during the offseason. And major shout out to today's sponsor, Aura, your all-in-one digital safety nut out there. We got a 14-day free trial. Does anybody plan on just stop using the internet? No? No one? Good. Because if you do, I don't know what the hell you're doing here, but if you don't plan on giving it up, then you need to go try out with Aura. Aura.com slash chat sports. Start your free trial right now. So the way that this show works is I'm going to start with the NFC South, and then we're going to go through the rest of the NFC teams. Then we're going to hop into the AFC. I believe the one trade that the Bucks need to do, move on from Scotty Miller. You got plenty of other talent there. You might want to go ahead and build your defense. What about the Saints? Trade for running back Kareem Hunt. Yes, they have Alvin Kamara, but what happens if that guy gets suspended? That offense needs a versatile running back. Let's go to the Atlanta Falcons now. Trade for Andy Isabella. The entire offseason, I thought Atlanta's done a good job adding big receivers, but they still need somebody else that I think that they could really try to stretch the field with. That's where Isabella comes into play. The next one, Carolina Panthers move on from Robbie Anderson. He's been trashing Sam Darnold. He's been on social media. He's been a little bit of a diva, which really shouldn't surprise anyone. Get that guy out of your locker room. Move on from him. If any of these trades end up going down, dude, we're going to be making a video here at Chat Sports. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tickle that notification bell turn on all because not only do we pump out NFL videos we've been making videos for the NBA draft as well so seriously hit that subscribe button let's go to the NFC West now we got the Rams go out and get Bradley Chubb the trade for Von Miller worked out really well for them this is a team that goes all in if Chubb's available Let's go ahead. Let's make it happen. The Arizona Cardinals make a trade for Robert Quinn. And you want to talk about a really, really tough division year in and year out. You got the, soup, the defending Super Bowl champs. You need another edge rusher. You lost Chandler Jones. Robert Quinn, after an 18-and-a-half sack season, is available. The 49ers, I know, it's boring, but this is the one that needs to happen. Move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm sick and tired of talking about it. Hell, even the Seattle Seahawks. Did you think I was going to say DK Metcalf? No, I didn't. Trade for Kenneth Murray. Go out and get yourself a linebacker. Build the defense. NFC East time. I asked Cowboys host Tom Downey, what do you want? He said, I'll literally take anything for Tristan Hill. So, move on from your defensive tackle. Philadelphia Eagles, it's time to move on from Jalen Rager, who you drafted in the first round. I still believe he does have some value. I know some teams out there personally that would probably give up a fifth round pick for him. With him being fourth, fifth receiver on your depth chart, it's just one of those times, man. It sucks. It's time to go. What about the Washington Commanders? Trade for Sidney Jones. And I'm not the highest on Sidney Jones, but he does at least add a little bit of extra value here for your cornerback room. The Cowboys are going to pass the football. The Eagles are going to pass the football. New Giants head coach Brian Dable, they're going to try to pass the football. So crazy idea, build your secondary. Let's talk about the Giants. Trade for Marcus Peters. So Mark Winkadale comes on over here to New York, and Peters is kind of this odd man out, had an ACL tear last season, doesn't know exactly where he could fit. The Giants need veterans, and they definitely need some extra cornerback depth. So Marcus Peters comes on over to the Giants. I think it makes a little bit of sense. We will continue to break down some trades that need to happen, but unless you trade, <laughs> plan on trading your identity, which I don't think anybody does, you need to get started with Aura here. What do, what do they help you with? Financial fraud protection, identity theft protection, online and device security, family plans to protect up to five people. Listen to this statistic. Someone becomes a victim of identity th fraud every 14 seconds. Every 14 seconds, that means... And this video alone, I, I'm not good at math. That's at least seven or eight people as far as I'm concerned. Well, no, it's even more than that. Yeah, Jack's looking at me like I'm crazy. It's a lot of people. So keep your identity secure with extensive monitoring of your personal information. How do you do that? 
Get started. You have nothing to lose. It's a 14-day free trial at Aura.com slash chat sports. I know a few years ago, and when I say a few years ago, I'm going to hop into my time machine because I wasn't around, but 30 years ago, my dad lost his identity, lost a lot of things he's worked for, and personally, I think you work hard for your money. At least, I hope you do. I like to think I do, and I want to make sure that my money is safe. I want to make sure my identity is safe, so that way Aura is going to help you make sure you do that. So, again, Aura.com slash chat sports let's go now to the NFC North I believe the Green Bay Packers need to add some extra talent at the tight end position Jonu Smith they wanted to run a two tight end set in New England didn't quite work out why not go out and try to get some extra talent there? The Minnesota Vikings trade away Cam Dantzler. This was one of those players that was mentioned tons and tons during the NFL trade deadline last offseason. You went out, you drafted Andrew Booth. You went out, you re-signed Patrick Peterson. I like Dantzler, but if he's your third corner and you don't have a spot for him, why not move on from him, get something in return? This is juicy. I want the Chicago Bears, who have a lot of money, who have a young quarterback, to build around Justin Fields. Make a deal for DK Metcalf. That way, no excuses. Right now is the time that you really need to go out and try to put your hand or foot on the Packers' throats. The Lions, you're next up here, and I see this team needing a defensive tackle. And they need some defensive line help in general. Michael Brockers is an interesting name to me. I thought about Deron Payne. Hate to say this, but Deron Payne, you're going to see a little bit later on on today's show. So that's all the trades that I have for the NFC. Before we get into the AFC, I told you all in the beginning of the show, shout out your favorite team. So now I know who your favorite team is. So now the question is, what's the better conference? Is it the AFC? Is it the NFC? Type AFC for AFC. Type NFC for NFC. I know that the Rams are the defending Super Bowl champs. I understand that Tom Brady is a member of the Buccaneers. But it's the AFC as far as I'm concerned. So let's start talking about some trades here. You got trade for Montez Sweat for the Tennessee Titans. This is a team that they need extra edge rushing help. And, you know, there's a little voice in my head that's like, oh, Mitch, every NFL team needs extra edge rushing help. You're right. But they have Bud Dupree. And the whole Bud Dupree experiment, not that it was a failure, but it definitely didn't work out the way you were hoping for. You need some extra talent there being able to get after the quarterback. This is going to be an interesting one. And I like Noah Igbenogany. He's definitely had the raw end of the stick in terms of Miami, different defensive schemes. But for Indianapolis with Gus Bradley, I actually think it can be, be a pretty interesting fit with that new defense. The Houston Texans are next up here, and they should try to build around Davis Mills for this season. Do I think he's the long-term answer? No, I do not. But I am a man of value. And I think Nelson Aguilar right now is an intriguing prospect if for some teams that need to find some extra speed, which is what Houston's trying to do with Brandon Cooks. So go out and get Nelson Aguilar. Next player coming up here, Jacksonville Jaguars. Move on from LaVisca Chenault, which... I like LaVisca Chanel personally. I think he's a good all-around player. But when you pay Christian Kirk four years 72, when you pay Zay Jones three years 30 mil, right now Chanel's probably your fourth, fifth wide receiver. On top of that, remember, they drafted Travis Etienne last season, and they were trying him out as a wide receiver. So if Chanel's technically like your fifth target option he's a lot more talented than that and you can get something in return for him it's time now to go to the AFC West which is a division you know I love the Ch we got some Chiefs fans got their eyes open make a trade for Christian McCaffrey make a deal that gives you just an unbelievably dynamic offense I'm sorry Clyde Edwards Hilaire is vanilla ice cream it's not going to get you excited if you go to Ben and Jerry's and you order it I'm going to question you Christian McCaffrey, on, their hand, other, on the other hand, wow, say that a few times fast. He's a hell of a player, and I think he's going to really help out that offense. We got the Las Vegas Raiders up now. They got some injuries at the defensive tackle position. Deron Payne entering the final year of his deal. I would say this would make a lot, a lot of sense. Payne has been in some disputes with teammates in the past. Wants a brand new contract. I think he's a talented player. So for the Raiders, make a deal for Deron Payne. If there's any Raider fans out there, part of Raider Nation, remember we make exclusive videos over on our Locals community channel. So please, join it. RaidersReport.Locals.com It's free to join to become a member. It's free to watch my live shows, but if you want extra content, seriously, scan this QR code. $10 a month, $100 for the year. Let's go to the Los Angeles Chargers. When you talk about the AFC West, the left tackles in this division, I think are actually pretty good. The right tackles, though, are, and I'm going to quote this from Tom Downey, 
not that good. I don't really know what's happening for the right tackle spot. But if you're the Chargers and you know the Chiefs have some good edge rushers, you know the Raiders have some good edge rushers, you know the Broncos have some good edge rushers, what you want to try to protect your young quarterback in Justin Herbert, that's why you make a trade from Mekhi Becton. Let's go now to the Denver Broncos. Eric Kendricks. For the Broncos, you've got question marks around Bradley Chubb. Obviously, Von Miller is no longer there. And when I think of the Broncos' great defenses, I think of solid linebacking play. Yes, Eric Kendricks is not what he once was. He's 30 years old. Denver has some money. It's going to cost them about $9 million, but you can make it happen. And as far as I'm concerned, if you want to win this division, you got to go balls to the wall. It's time now to go to the AFC East. We got the Buffalo Bills. They still need some help on that offensive line. And Walker Little's not going to be like a, oh, wow, this is a great trade. But it's some good depth, and it does help out their starting offense. The New England Patriots move on from Nikhil Harry already. I'm just, I'm done with it. We've talked about Nikhil Harry trade since it seems like the day this guy was drafted. Do it. Get it over with. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's talk about the Miami Dolphins. They have been one unbelievably aggressive team this offseason. And I believe that they should move on from Eric Rowe. You have Javon Hall in there. You have some other talent at the safety position. Not that Rowe was bad by any means last year. Sometimes I'd make the argument when you play 16 games as a starter in 2020. Then he started only four games last season. It's time to sell high, if you will, because if you wait, the value will continue to go lower and lower. Another player that just continues to get mentioned is Denzel Mims for the New York Jets. The Jets made a lot of moves this offseason, drafting some wide receiver talent. They added some extra pieces. There was a lot of trade rumors going on. Denzel coming out of Baylor, long athletic receiver. It just, I think it's a bad fit in New York. I think it's a bad fit, or New Jersey, bad fit with Zach Wilson from top to bottom. We got a few more trades to get into, but if you haven't already, hit me up, IG, Twitter. You know where to find me, at MitchellRans365. If there's an extra trade that y'all want to throw out there, I'll see it. Just seriously, hit me up. Let's go to the AFC North now. We got the Cincinnati Bengals. This one is ballsy, but... You have Eli Apple on a starting defense for a Super Bowl caliber team. That can't happen. If there's one corner that I, I don't know if he's on the trade market, but if there's a team I'd like to see make it happen, Jeff Akuda. I love Jeff Akuda when he came out of college. The Lions, maybe they look for extra picks. I don't have the answer to it. But if the Bengals could do it and Jeff Akuda's healthy, Look out. Let's go to the Pittsburgh Steelers now. We got trading for Bradley Roby. Extra versatile depth here at the cornerback position, which is the Steelers at this point they need. What about the Cleveland Browns? Yep, no surprise here. Trade away Baker Mayfield, though. If this whole Deshaun Watson thing goes down, we might see Jacoby Brissett for the entire season. And uh, I think we're going to see Jacoby Brissett for the whole season. The Baltimore Ravens next up here on my one trade that needs to happen for every single NFL team. I'm going to say make the deal for Kenny Galladay. When Kenny Galladay was a free agent before he signed with the New York Giants, one of the teams really linked to Galladay was Baltimore. He's a big receiver. He can block. He's not the best blocker, but when he's motivated and healthy, he can block long arms and that big body frame. That does fit with Baltimore once. They moved on from Marquise Hollywood Brown. Yes, the Ravens have some talent there, but you need to build around Lamar Jackson, and maybe adding a player like Galladay makes – Lamar want to sign that contract just a little bit sooner. So those are my trade ideas, y'all. I hope everyone has appreciated this video. Chat Sports is a interactive YouTube channel. We check the comments. We see who's liking the video. So all I want you to do, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Give us another trade that you believe should happen before the regular season.